ChemPro-V is an online environment for constructing solutions to material and energy balance problems, the kind you will commonly encounter in your introductory chemical engineering course. In this brief video, you'll learn how to use ChemPro-V to construct problem solutions. ChemPro-V is an application you can run right from your web browser. To launch ChemPro-V, first go to ChemProV.org. Then click on the Run ChemPro-V link. This will launch ChemPro-V in your web browser. Note that ChemPro-V requires Silverlight. If your computer does not have Silverlight, you will be prompted to install it when you run ChemPro-V for the first time. When you first launch ChemPro-V, you'll be asked to select what type of problem you'd like to solve. There are three different problem levels, ranging from simplest to most complex. If you're unsure which problem type to choose, please ask your instructor. The introductory options window also allows you to select the font size to display in ChemPro-V. In most cases, the default font size should work well. Click OK to dismiss the options window and enter ChemPro-V. The ChemPro-V environment has three general areas. The Process Flow Diagram, or PFD, workspace, the left-hand pane, and the Equations Editor. The PFD workspace is where you'll create a process flow diagram for the problem you're solving. You'll use the tools in the left-hand pane to create your process flow diagram. To place a unit in the PFD, simply click on the corresponding icon, move the mouse to the location in the PFD area where you want to position it, and click again to add the unit at that position. The Stream tool can be used to add chemical streams flowing into and out of process units. To add a chemical stream, click on the Chemical Stream icon, position the mouse at the starting point of the stream, click, move the mouse to the ending point of the stream, and click again. A stream will be added between the two points at which you clicked. You can dock the starting or ending point of a stream to a specific process unit. To do this, simply move the mouse inside the process unit. The process unit's border will turn green to indicate that the stream has been docked to it. Also note that you can designate portions of the PFD as subprocesses. In ChemPro-V, each subprocess is identified by a unique color. To add a process unit to a subprocess, right-click on the process unit and choose Select Subprocess. Once you have added a stream, a stream table associated with the stream will appear. This is where you can fill in the composition of the stream. Each component of the stream will occupy its own row in the table. To add a row, simply click on the plus button. From the drop-down menu in the Compounds column, select the compound of the component. Use Overall to specify the overall flow rate. ChemPro-V gives the stream component an appropriate default label. You are free to customize this label, but in most cases, this shouldn't be necessary. In the Quantity column, specify the numerical value of the amount of the stream component, if known, or a question mark if unknown. In the Units column, specify the units of the stream component. Note that this may be a mass or mole percentage of the overall stream. The Equations Editor spans the bottom of the screen. This is where you enter the balance equations needed to solve for all of the unknowns in the problem. Notice that the equations editor is actually a table. Type each equation into a separate row. Use the plus button to add equation rows. Associated with each row are two important fields, type and scope. Use the type drop-down to designate whether the equation is an elemental balance, component balance, overall balance, or specification given in the problem statement. The Scope drop-down describes the area of the PFD over which the balance is constructed. This could be a specific process unit, a subprocess, or the overall PFD. As you write equations, remember to use variable names that correspond with labels in the PFD's stream tables. Note that you can delete an equation using the Delete button or move an equation using the arrow buttons. The DF Analysis tab appears below the tool icons. This provides an area where you can type in a degree of freedom analysis for the problem you're solving. For the medium and most complex problem types, additional information appears below the tool icons. 
The Compounds tab presents crucial properties of the compounds involved in your process flow diagram. Use the drop-down menu to select the compound whose properties you'd like to view. Every few minutes, your solution is automatically written to a file that can be retrieved in the event of an application crash. However, you must still explicitly save your solution at the end of each editing session. You have two options. You can either save your solution to your local computer, or you can save your solution remotely to an OSBL assignment. To save locally, click on the Save icon and select a file name and location to which to save. To save remotely to OSBL, first log into OSBL by clicking on the OSBL icon and entering your credentials. After logging in, click on the Save icon and select Save to an OSBL assignment. A new window will appear where you can select the assignment to which to submit your solution. This video has provided a brief introduction to constructing problem solutions in ChemProV. For additional information and training videos, please visit ChemProV.org.